Hi, I'm Peter Narona, the Attorney General of the State of Rhode Island. I love getting out of the office and connecting with Rhode Islanders all over the state. But COVID-19 has made that really hard. So we're trying to reach out in different ways, through video and other means. Uh, today you're going to hear from our Elder Abuse Unit, Molly Cody and Michaela Driscoll. They're going to share some good thoughts and ideas and tips about how to keep yourselves safe during COVID-19. Make sure you listen all the way to the end of the message for some helpful tips. Thank you and I look forward to seeing you out there again soon. Hi everyone, my name is Molly Capstein Cody. I am a prosecutor with the Rhode Island Office of Attorney General and I handle elder abuse matters on behalf of the state. I work with Michaela Driscoll, our unit investigator, and for those of you who we have had the pleasure of meeting in person at some of our community outreach events, you know that together we work to keep older Rhode Islanders safe. Because of COVID-19, we've had to put those in-person events on hold for now, but we're so happy to be coming to you today from our homes where uh, we are teleworking from, as so many of us are right now, to try to keep one another safe. And we're back to give you some of the most updated information and tips so you can protect yourselves right now. We hope you stay tuned and let's get started. First question, please. question, Debbie. It's a good one and it's an issue we're hearing a lot about right now. The bottom line with stimulus money is that it belongs solely to the recipient of that money and cannot be withheld by a nursing home, long-term care facility, or by any other creditor for that matter. If you are your mom's legal agent and you think that her nursing home is withholding that money, give them a call and ask them to release it to her immediately. If they refuse or you are not your mom's legal agent, give us a call and we'll help. If you have other questions, such as the status of your mom's payment, or if you want to find out if the IRS needs more information from her, you can get all of those answers at irs.gov. Finally, you do need to know that if your mom is a Medicaid recipient, this money will not impact her status now. However, if it's not spent by May of 2021, Medicaid may consider it income or assets in their calculation for eligibility purposes, and that could impact her Medicaid status moving forward. Right, Lenny, this is a scam. The IRS, Social Security Administration, federal agencies don't contact people individually by phone. Scam artists are taking advantage of the stimulus program to try to get your personal information and steal your identity. As always, don't answer the phone if you don't recognize the number. But even if you do, keep in mind that scam artists use spoofed phone numbers that may look like someone you know. If you do answer, hang up. At the very least, do not give any information about yourself, including your name, address, social security number, or any other account information. And don't be fooled if a scammer tries to tell you that they're confirming information they already have. Hi everyone, I'm Michaela Driscoll, the Elder Abuse Investigator at the Attorney General's Office. As you probably can tell, I too, like many, am working remotely. To answer the question, there is currently no cure or vaccine for COVID-19. So if you receive any telephone calls offering to invest in any company, even if they tell you they have a high profile investor, it is a scam and hang up. As the old saying goes, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. COVID-19 has caused many people to rely on caregivers now more than ever. Whether that's a friend, family member, or even just a neighbor, so many people are coming together to make sure that our needs are being met. If you think that a caretaker is taking advantage of you, know that you're not alone and don't be afraid to ask for help. You can reach out to our office for assistance as well as the Office of Healthy Aging. It's important to know that unfortunately, COVID-19 has caused many supply chain issues and the prices of goods are increasing. If your caretaker asks for more money the following week when they do your grocery shopping, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're exploiting you. It just could be that the cost of goods are increasing. So make sure you keep all your receipts and track of all of the money that you're spending and giving to the caretaker. <music> 